Hey, it's Tanya here at Nerdy Knitting. In today's video, we're talking about double seed stitch, moss stitch, seed stitch. It's three different patterns, but I counted eight different names between these three patterns. We'll look at all three, look at the differences, and why there are so many names for them. So stick around. Let's start with these two stitch patterns. In the US, this stitch pattern is referred to as seed stitch. And this one is referred to as moss stitch. It could also be known as American moss or double seed, but it's most often called moss stitch. In the UK and Australia, this one is called moss stitch. And this one is called Irish moss or sometimes double moss. So you can see how it can often be confusing with all of these names that are so similar. But let's actually look at the patterns themselves. Seed stitch, or moss stitch if you're in the UK, it's an even number of stitches, it's a knit one, purl one pattern, and it's a two row repeat. And this chart represents what's happening on our swatch, and you can see all of those little purl bumps are evident in here. That little seed or moss pattern is right there. So we knit one, purl one on our first row, and then we break that pattern. On the next row, we would purl one, knit one, and we get this seed stitch or moss stitch. And this pattern, moss stitch if you're in the US, Irish moss usually if you're in the UK or Australia. This one is a two row repeat and a two stitch repeat. This one is an even number of stitches but it's a four row repeat. That knit one purl one pattern is broken every two rows instead of every row. If we just continued knit one purl one we'd have rib but on our next set of stitches, we break that pattern and we get what in America is referred to as moss or American moss. Or if you're in the UK or Australia, it might be called Irish moss or double moss. So two similar patterns with very similar names. Whatever pattern you might be following, you just have to check and see which stitch pattern they're using. To make things a little more confusing, there's even a third pattern. This one is similar to these two. I think it's quite similar to this pattern especially. In the US we call it double seed stitch, but I think it's actually closer to the moss stitch. It takes that pattern, that knit one, purl one for two rows, and now it makes it a knit two, purl two. In the US it's called double seed stitch or it's called box stitch. And in the UK or Australia, it might be called double moss stitch or it might be called box stitch. It's a knit two, purl two pattern for two rows. And then you break that pattern and you purl two, knit two. And you get this small box pattern. So no matter the pattern, whether it is box stitch or moss stitch or seed stitch, you just have to look at the chart, the written instructions, and compare them to see what's expected of you. What we might call seed stitch here in North America is not the same in UK or Australia. So just be aware of what's happening with your pattern. And I hope that explains some of the differences between these three stitch patterns. And if you like to get a bit nerdy with your knitting, click the subscribe button down below. 